Whoops, not what I meant. Anyway, stamina regeneration is below the Witcher symbol. Uh, it's with the right now you can see the Igni symbol, and right next to that, to the left, is the stamina. That's what allows me to cast signs. And when I don't have any uh, stamina, place of power should draw from it. I cannot cast signs. This is a place of power. There are six of them in the opening area, and they give you an ability point. This is the other reason I wanted to come out here. So I could do this. So now I have this this uh, Yurden set up very well. Um, I really I, I like Yurden. Setting two traps, I don't know how necessary it is, but... I like having this. So now, when I I want to go do a quest. Uh, no, what's your contract? I want to go do this one. Actually, I'm not that far away, really. I have to be careful. You can die from falling off of things in this game. And out in the wilderness, I can't see anything. Yeah, so I'm level 2, and now that I have upgraded Yurden, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable attempting this quest. This is an abandoned village. Marker. A few years ago, a group of armed men marched into the settlement. They butchered its inhabitants and burned down their homes. Not a, swell, not a soul has dwelt here since that black and brooding day. So... That's cool. The infamous well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched. Okay. We got a new type of plant. The reason why I'm collecting all this is for alchemy. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into alchemy soon enough. Silver ingot. That's nice. I think I need another one. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have my silver sword, but you don't need it. I don't have my upgraded silver sword, but you don't need it, strictly speaking. I actually think this uh, particular poltergeist is uh, not that bad. Oh, I got saltpeter. That's good. What I don't have is drowner anything. <laughs> I need drowner brains to make a swallow potion. If I'm good, I won't need it. I have upgraded Yurden, which makes a difference. A journal might be useful. Okay, yellow diary. Twenty the third month. 27th of the third month of 1250. It's happened. Volker sent a petition of her grievances against the Lord to the court of Azima. Listed all the harm he's done us, how he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough, how he trampled our fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment, how he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what we begged Mithalay for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We could finally strike out on our own. At last we can live as free men. The fourth or the 12th of the 4th month, 1250. The first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazel wood smoke to drive out evil, buried a marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold, and then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bobble when we haven't plowed nor hose, and that we ought to return it to the merchant. Over my dead body, I'll never take it off. I'll always be there to remind me. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker how happy we were that day. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal. To beg us to return to the village. They say he's calm since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or the other, I have no intention to move one inch from here. This happened over a couple of months, this diary.
I'm just checking. I'm walking slow because I get Witcher senses on. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. And what is this? Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a new wraith. History entry added devil by the well. Quest updated. Oh, okay. I gotta read the entry about noon rates and the bestiary. <clears throat> I need to go to glossary bestiary. Oh, I have a lot of things to read. Beasts, dogs. They say a dog's a man's best friend, but in these foul times, one best be wary, even to of his friends. Alfred Pankritz, beggar from Novigrad. Some claim dogs are reflections of their masters. A well-treated pet repays his owner with loyalty and trust, whereas an ill-treated one repays his treatment in kind as well, meeting yells with barks and kicks with bites. Since there is an abundance of mad men, so too is there an abundance of bad dogs. Most dangerous of all are the vagrant mutts who have lost all respect for men and developed a taste for blood and carrion. They are allergic to beast oil, which I don't have. Wolves. Uh, beast oil, yeah. Wolves. Friend of mine used to say that with all these griffins and basilisks and whatnot, good old-fashioned wolves weren't nothing to worry about. Then the damn beast devoured half his flock. Yinvar Shepherd. Once upon a time, wolves were the absolute rulers of the forest. Men used them to frighten children, while adults too trembled at, while well, adults too trembled at the sound of their howling. Post conjunction monsters not only pushed wolves into the deepest wilds, but also took over their place in human nightmares. Yet this does not mean the old predators cease to be a danger. Wolves do not have a drop of magic within them, breathe no fire, and spit no acid. But that in no way stops them from killing unwary travelers and hunters. Particularly dangerous are wargs, a nasty and ferocious subspecies of wolf, and the snow-white wolves which today can only be found in the wild highlands of the Skellige Archipelago. I actually got mauled by the wargs. They were nasty. Griffins. They are allergic to grape shots, hybrid oil, and ard. That will be relevant soon enough. I, half eagle, half tomcat, just like on the Lord's Crest. Except this, this one is carrying my dead cow. So, oh, I already did this one. Yeah. I did ghouls. Devil by the well. Moon dust I don't have. Spectre oil I don't have. And Yurden. The residents of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. Passing armies who trampled the spring plantation, a griffin had begun abducting their livestock, and the rotten icing on this painful cake, a noon wraith, haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. A witcher could sense something bound her to this place, and that in order to send her off into the ethereal realms, he would first need to learn her secret. Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle, and a noon wraith is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by blinding him and creating mere images of herself. These copies slowly suck their victim's life energy while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Yurden sign would also be needed to trap her and force her to take on material form. You can't fight specters without Yurden most of the time. Noon Raids. Same thing that they're vulnerable to. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon rates, the lad raiment, peasants, and their customs. On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, wraiths will at times appear resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon rates, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the field searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, that they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veal in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. So we need to figure out what that is. But look at this. Blood stains. Almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Woman, the journal belonged to, must be.
wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman, around 30 judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Uh, before I do, I haven't actually finished exploring. Did I explore? Yeah, I explored this house, but not that one. Oh yeah, there's some good stuff in here. I think some of this is randomized, but I don't know the formula. That's the other reason a lot of people loot everything, so it really increases your chances of getting good stuff. Isn't there... this place? Some of this stuff is actually quite helpful. Ah! Okay. Oh, a good use of art is right here. Um. Oh, that was not good. I need to stop eating my food. So you can knock out uh, obstacles with art. I think art is also another magic school that's not shown much, so I might do like a hybrid combat magic school that focuses on Ard and Yurden. I thought that there, there's more. I know there's more. Right? Uh... I know there's more. Somehow I missed it? Really? I must have skipped it somehow. So there were track marks here, you know, something happened and then over here you see some drag marks. Uh, clearly somebody was dragged over here and then they were dragged to the well. And there's old blood stains there. So I wonder if that talks about that here. Go down the well to find something and look for something that belonged to the dead woman. So I'm sorry I missed that. I must have accidentally, like, jumped over. Okay. Find a way out of the cave. Yeah. Now, there's actually stuff in here. Okay, Geralt, get up. Or... Yeah, there is something down there. I have no idea what was going on there. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wreath for good. Better do it near the well.
So yeah, you know, this is like, there's there's some backstory here. This lord sounds like a dick. You, you heard from Florin, or not Florin, uh, what the hell is his name? The Hunter. You learned that, uh, you know, he got ostracized for, you know, having a good time with the lord's son and... Um, and I think the Lord's son hanged himself. Oh, one second. I thought there was something in here. Okay, so. Breath bar is not that great, so it's time to book. I escaped. What did I just receive? Recently discovered inventory temporism. My quest update? Prepare to fight the noon right and light a fire near the well. I do not prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions. Can I actually brew wraith oil? I don't know. So this is my alchemy brewing station. Uh oh, I can do this, but before I do. I need Arania. Okay. This is good. Uh, bombs help destroy nests. Once you brew something, you don't have to brew it again. Necrophage is great. Swallow, I probably need Drowner Brain. And I need plants. Okay, what I need is two more of those. I think this is a good idea, and maybe getting some browner, Drowner Brains would be an even better idea. Because I currently... What is this? I don't have healing. What is this place? Like a fisher hut? Yeah, it's a fisher hut. I should check, did I get any better weapons? Uh, yeah. What state is my steel weapon in? The problem is those swords are not repaired, so I don't think they're actually doing more damage than my Witcher sword. Wait. What the fuck? How have I never noticed this before? This guy... is just hanging. Wow. Oh, oh I bet that... I bet the Lord came and he, he fucking just hanged him. Like... So, I need Arania, or Arania, let me go find some. If I could find some Drowners, that would be just as good. Oh, speaking of which, this is a monster. Igni's also pretty good for Drowners. Be careful. Drowners are extremely fast. Oh no. And they are uh, vulnerable to fire. Now, here's a fun fact. If something's on fire, uh, and you hit them with the sword, it puts the fire out. <laughs> How the physics of that works, 
I'm, I'm gonna guess that they're saying the Witcher is so fast at swap, at moving his sword that it, it can suffocate the oxygen. But it's kind of funny. So, that was convenient, actually. Um, I desperately need... This is... We'll get into alchemy substances later. Where is it? What was I trying to do? Swallow. Oh, I didn't get a Drowner Brain. That sucks. I gotta go kill more Drowners. One of these will probably drop a Drowner Brain. And I, I really want the fire to do a lot of damage right now. I got both of them. Excellent. A strong attack against a Drowner when they're on fire is pretty good. Strong attacks will do a lot of damage to Drowners, but they're so fast that you're not likely to, to get it. Oh. Uh, under the Glossary Bestiary. Necrophages, Drowners, they are weak against Necrophage Oil and Igni. When at the water's edge, you gotta be quiet, first of all, so as not to scare the fish, second, so not so you don't attract Drowners. Yannick of Blaviken, Blaviken, Fisherman. A drowner resembles a corpse dredged from the bottom of a pond. It is sickly blue or green in color, with slime and sludge oozing out of every pore and the acrid stench of rot wafting off of it. That is why it is often thought drowners, along with their more dangerous cousins, Vodniks, Mucknixers, and Drowned Dead, arise from the bodies of those who drown in shallow water. Lost travelers falling into bogs, children who swim too far from the shore, or in the case of Vodniks, in inebriated peasants who stumble off narrow trails. I think the reality is drowners just come from the conjunction of the spears. Um, hello, come here. No. Watch what a strong attack does here. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Drowners are much easier to fight than Borgs because they telegraph their attacks. Oops. Telegraph their attacks more than other types of uh, fast monsters. Diagram, uh, broad head bolt, troll decoction. We will get into decoctions. I don't know if I'm gonna use too many. Torn out page succubus decoction. Here's the thing, like decoctions are really powerful, but they make the game probably a little too easy. I think it makes sense to use them for specialized boss fights, but not just like casually 